What's up guys? It is time to review the pet shop set number 10218 which has 2032 pieces is a 2011 release and markets for $150 with a price to piece ratio of approximately seven and a half cents. This set also has four minifigs and is just freaking awesome. And here is the set in person. It just it's a very nice looking build, looks very presentable for a house display. And it just looks I mean I mean I find it stunning from the beginning. It has very nice part selection, pretty much has almost every color in the part palette. <clears throat> dark blue, sand blue, dark red, dark green. Yeah, there's dark green inside. And lots of dark tan and brown and all these other colors. It's it's fantastic. Now we're gonna take a close up look. First a of close up of the exterior of the set from the front. Very nice facade. Oops. Drop the piece. And of the back, which has a bit of detail. Not bad. Also, I'm surprised it has windows. It's pretty new for the Mazarin. The first floor looks all out detailed with the uh, pet shop on the on the right side. It has the uh, register, the, <clears throat> the little items, the display case, parrots, and it has a dog hidden in there. See that? Getting having its bones and there's the you, if you look very closely you can see the uh, fishing display I mean the fish, the goldfish well there's the goldfish, it didn't want to show itself and otherwise it's a very fully stocked store cat and mouse and outside and we move on to the town now, it's very cozy atmosphere with the couch, a boss and a table to put a cup basement opens up like this to store your stuff and the bathroom there funny toilet I don't feel much into opening the door since in the interest of time we move on the second the floor in the pet shop is pretty empty the painter who's actually outside has his uh, painting equipment otherwise it's just Dustin he already started on his project and in the pet shop we have a, d a dormitory I believe or actually a kitchen in, some, in the study nice uh... well I consider it a study like you could put your laptop there do your economics homework and we have like a fireplace that could be seen right here nothing on the uh, front side of the building and not much on the back it's just a stairway to the pet shop and the third floor which I positioned correctly has couple outside details here for the patio and has a couple boxes it's the less detailed side while here it's actually the dormitory of the pet shop house both are houses up front up the top like in principle and you have the railing and I like the uh, lamp design very classic very modern actually looks like what you could find at IKEA and the roof pieces are here very abstract now when in the scope of the other buildings, this model goes pretty well, except it's very short, feels a little out of home, but otherwise it, it looks great with the others, it, it continues a consistency, and I guess there are short buildings in the series and they have to be, at least it's not as short as Market Street, it could go right next to it, but I do not have that model built, I knocked it down, parted it out, and sold some of the medium blue brick, but kept the rest of the dark blue and sold the arches for a pretty high price, and eight bucks each on Brickling. This, and they're going now for like fifteen, twenty dollars. Now for the ratings. Oh boy, the most granted rating, and the most designed for rating playability for the minifig of the minifig, and but not by the minifig. I'm going to be giving it a ten out of ten. Very playable, very functional applications of of all sorts, well more like appliances in the building you have you have dishwashers, grills, beds, studies pretty much, I mean you could compare it to a study and you have other equipment in the houses and of course a paint brush, I mean I, I haven't really seen paint in a set before a paint bucket and like a paint pail and now for the 
application of parts and very nice technique. Lots of snot in this set. However, I'm just going to give it a 9. Um, that's because the some parts are not sturdy and I believe strength is a factor in how you apply the parts to build this model. This front right here has been knocking out a couple times when I tried building it where the hat rack is and I haven't really mentioned the hat rack in the close up but you all know it's there. And the center part in the roof has fallen off when I accidentally dropped it on the carpet floor and usually when I drop things on the carpet floor most of the time they're they're mostly okay but this whole structure right here just fell off you can see the window is shaking a little bit <clears throat> you know I raised the tripod a little and shaking that but anyway now for the uh, color section that's gonna be a 10 it has pretty much every color in the palette save for light pink <laughs> and uh, sand green and sand red um, and I'm taking note of my ratings so I can average them right away for the <clears throat> for the looks of this thing I'm going to give it a 9 because I do not find the uh, the building that beautiful I mean there's some protrusions and, I, and sometimes I don't like it when studs show up on a finished model and I'm pointing to it right there at the top, I mean the protrusion is okay. Yeah, I know it's designed to cover up the uh, San Francisco Bay window, <clears throat> but the uh, I mean it looks a little ugly. I'm sorry, but I like the folding door. The folding door looks. You see that there, and I'm not gonna close it. I don't feel like closing it. Maybe I will when I go to the Lego store and turn it in to them. But. Um, it looks great. It just, I, I mean, I think the two may look a little mixed up in apple to grape for their positioning. But lastly, for the <clears throat> price to piece ratio, that's going to be a nine, seven point five cents per piece, uh, which is great. It's just not that great. I mean, I believe the uh, fire brigade has a better pricing point and I'm not sure about the Grand Emporium I believe the Grand Emporium has a decent one too and I see that there are three floors of Macy's pretty much it looks like a Macy's in philosophy the average rating of the set would be 47 over 50 divided by 5 so that's a 9.4 out of 10 very high rating love it and that's it for the rating. And now to conclude the review, saying that this set's impressive, I recommend it. It's a must. I mean, I gave it very, very specific ratings because I'm a rivet counter when it comes to Lego models. There are things that may be improved, such as using tiles on the top. There, are most I mean, the other models you don't see the top. You don't see studs point out that much. I mean, you see them, but you just don't see them that that well. But I do recommend buying this. It's a must. It has that sand blue fix for your needs. The whole walls are actually sand blue, unlike the uh, unlike the fire brigade where the whole walls are gray behind the dark red. It's a wonderful set. Very fun. It was a fun build in the two days that I did. I mean, I had homework, but it was a nice break. <laughs> I'm not really a pet guy, but I like these pet shops. The techniques are just great. You can learn from them. There was one or two that I really liked as far as techniques go, but actually is a pretty straightforward build because most of the studs are right side up. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. T.E. out.